just before I put these couple of items away, I just want to tell you something about them. When the Vickers Vimy and the crew set off from London, they carried a batch of airmail with them. It was going to be the first mail ever sent between England and Australia. Amazingly, the library has one of those letters. It's addressed to Miss Horwood. Weybridge, England, 9th of November, 1919. Dear Anne, ever so many thanks for the cable you and Dora sent. It was nice of you and I value the thought very much. I am taking this with me on the Vimy and we are ready to start on the next fine day. The weather is awful at present and flying is a washout altogether. I hope to shoot a parrot with you again before long. Yours, Ross. I've got no idea what shoot a parrot means. So it's, a, it's an interesting letter. It's quite personal, but more interesting than the letter is the envelope. Now, when the Vickers Vimy landed in Darwin, Ross was an instant celebrity and he asked the Prime Minister, Billy Hughes, if he would make a special stamp to go on the letters that he'd carried over from England. And so the Postmaster General's department got to work and they produced a, a little stamp. But what they produced was not an official postage stamp because it didn't have a denomination on it like a shilling. Instead, it's called the Ross Smith Air Stamp or the Ross Smith Vignette. The letter in its, and its envelope was then put into another envelope for posting. And you can see here that it's got its King George one and a halfpenny stamp on it. So that was the official denomination for posting out. And for most people, they would toss away things like this envelope, but amazingly, this little envelope has survived along with the other little envelope. So this is a very precious item. The stamp is so special that South Australian aerophilatelist Nelson Eustace wrote a whole book on it called the Ross Smith Air Stamp. And in it, he says, today it is the world's most valuable piece of paper of its size that is not an actual postage stamp. Now we put this letter and the envelopes in our Heroes of the Skies exhibition and we were amazed that the Ross Smith extended family came forward and donated another letter that had also been carried on that flight. And here it is, the same little envelope. Dear Dora, thanks so much for the cable you and Anne sent me. It was nice of you and I was very bucked at getting it. I'm taking this with me on the Vimy and hope it reaches you safely. We are ready to start as soon as the next fine day condescends to appear. So I hope I shall see you very shortly. Yours very sincerely, Ross Smith. So it's a more formal letter than the other one. And interestingly, Annie Wood and Dora Horwood were cousins, just a couple of years younger than Ross. And in this little book, Nelson Eustace managed to track down all 364 letters that were carried on the flight. How exciting that a hundred years after the mail was delivered, these two letters have come back together and are safely reunited here at the State Library. Thanks for watching. Mm.